On today's High Watt Soundbite, it's freaking cold outside. Oh man, you know that feeling you can get in the pit of your stomach right after you deliver a bunch of critical files to a client? You know where you might wake up in the middle of the night and start freaking out and second guessing everything about that upload. You know, did I check sync and what about the format? You know, so many different questions. And yeah, I spent a number of sleepless nights earlier on in my career freaking out about uploads and questioning whether or not I got everything about that delivery just right. So for today's session, I'm going to take a few minutes and share a technique that I've used for years that guarantees delivery. It absolutely doesn't guarantee that the client's going to love what I send them, but every single time this procedure is going to guarantee that that client receives the files that I had intended for them to receive and nothing different. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and go through a step-by-step -step procedure of exactly how I like to deliver to my clients. For today's example, we're going to go ahead and use last year's little modular jam that I made available for the community for our first lockdown collab jam that we did. If you recall, that was a very simple multi-track session. Now, this is a perfect example because this is exactly the sort of thing I'm delivering every single day. You know, inside this folder, we've got a simple multi-track. We got nine audio tracks and a readme note. Unless I've been given very specific upload instructions from my client, I just go ahead and use my standard procedure. So first step in my procedure is to go ahead and take that folder of files and compress them. I'm gonna go ahead and make a zip file of this folder. I'll just right click and I'll choose the compress modular jam stems. It's just gonna take a few seconds to do that. Now there's a couple of reasons why I like to gather all of my files and compress them into a single zip file for upload. You know, more often than not, the resulting zip file is going to be a little bit smaller in size than the original folder with no degradation to the audio quality whatsoever. So I'm going to be spending less time uploading these files. More importantly, though, it sort of puts everything into a single package, one single file that I can upload to that client and that that client can download. Just never been a fan of uploading entire folders with different formats of files in them and stuff always would much rather take the time and effort to compress that file into a zip and then upload that single zip file. Okay, so we've got modular jam stems compressed into a single zip file. I'm ready for upload. Well, step two of my process is an extreme level of redundancy. This is exactly what I get up to every single time I deliver to a client. I take an intermediate step of taking the time and effort to upload the zip file to my own server, download it from my own server, and expand it. I want to know that this zip file that's on my desktop is 100% going to go up to their server, and it's going to come off their server, and it's going to expand. I know it's a serious level of redundancy, but it's something that helps me sleep at night. When I know that I've uploaded my own zip file, downloaded it, and expanded it, makes me confident that I can upload that zip file to anybody and they're gonna be able to do the same thing. So for step two in this level of redundancy, I just go to Dropbox, simply upload my file. All right, boom, we just uploaded modular jam stems to my Dropbox. The very next step, it's immediately gonna go and download the very same file, put it right back on my computer. So I'm gonna download this, I'm going to very likely go right back to the very same spot on my hard drive and just make a brand new folder and probably call it testy, something I can just dump later. And that's where I'll save the zip archive to. It's already done. So I can quit that. Well, the next thing I want to do, of course, is uncompress that zip file. So I'm going to go to my testy folder, find the file that we just downloaded from my Dropbox, and I'm simply going to double click on modular jam stem zip. So boom, we've gone full circle. We're right back to where we kind of started from when we started to get into compression. So what do we know about my client's zip file? I know I can upload it, and I know they'll be able to download it and expand it. But what does that zip file expand to? And this is my final step, an absolute extra level of redundancy. This is something I do with every single project. I want to know that 
All of those audio tracks will load up into a Pro Tools session and play exactly as they were intended to. So every single time, I'm gonna take the time and effort to open up a brand new Pro Tools session and import all of these audio tracks, set the tempo, drop a click track, listen to it. I wanna know that all of these tracks are on the grid, that there's no screw up or, or latency issue or, or any kind of issue, sync problems, whatever the case is. I wanna know that these audio tracks play back perfectly. That's sort of the last step of my checks and balances. Once I get that done, I know I'm gonna be able to put my head on the pillow and rest tonight, knowing that that client has got exactly the files that they were supposed to get. So my final step, I'm gonna load up Pro Tools, create a brand new session. I'm gonna save it to the very same little testy folder that I created because when I'm finally finished all this, I wanna just toss all that stuff. Boom, set the tempo for 129. All right, so we've got our session. I'm gonna go ahead and import those nine audio tracks from our unzipped folder, right? So I'm gonna grab all nine of these tracks, I'm simply gonna add them to the session, and then I go ahead and create a click track and then simply have a listen to this track on the grid. Make sure it's all cool. Okay, we got Zico right on the money. All right, here it is, man, Zico. Now, for sure, there's gonna be someone sitting in on today's session that's just gonna be like, dude, that is overkill. But is it really overkill? I mean, a lot of these deliveries represent what might be two or three or four weeks of my work and my production. So is it really overkill to go to this level of checks and balances? Yeah, not in my world. This is something that I'm willing to do each and every time. This business is so critical. You cannot make mistakes in this department. If you've got a client, and you just one time send files that are wrong or out of sync or something like that, it puts a little kind of thing in the back of their mind that they just sort of don't trust you from that moment forward. What you want is a, is a client that just has total trust in what you do, that they know every single time you deliver, it's perfect. There's nothing weird about it and that it just works. The funny thing is, once you start getting into that habit, you won't be recognized for doing that. It's just that there's a level of confidence that that client will have, and it'll shine through in every single interaction that you have with that client. So this is important stuff. You really only have one chance to make a first impression with a client, right? The last thing that you want to do is send files to that client where they have to reach back to you and ask you to resend them for some reason. You just want them to be perfect. You want that client to never worry about that when they're working with you. You know, you just want that reputation, right? So every single time you deliver, they don't even sweat it. They just know that they can throw it up and it's gonna be perfect each and every time. Well, thank you very much for sitting in on today's session. And I strongly encourage you to adopt this level of redundancy and system of checks and balances when it comes to delivering files. You know, in my own experience, there's no question this creates sort of a next level of confidence between you and your client. And that's just priceless. I mean, that's what this is all about. Delivery guaranteed.